online and on your smart speaker. Toowoomba WellCamp Airport. Flights to Sydney, Melbourne, Townsville, Cairns and Western Queensland. Head to wellcamp.com.au. Here's News Briefing. Hello, Emma Griffiths with your news briefing. The new Treasurer admits the economy has some real challenges ahead with a lower than expected growth number. GDP grew by just 0.8% in the first quarter and 3.3% in the year to March, which is below forecasts. Jim Chalmers says they've inherited a tough set of books. These national accounts are a glimpse of the mess that the former government left behind for us to clean up. You can see in these figures where the number on the surface looks relatively robust uh, is much lower than what the government was relying on. Anthony Albanese has led his first cabinet meeting as Prime Minister. The 30-member ministry has met in Canberra since the swearing-in this morning. Linda Burney is among them who's officially become the first woman to serve as Minister for Indigenous Australians. I, Linda G. Burney, being chosen in the summer by the Governor-General of the Commonwealth of Australia to be a member of the Federal Executive Council, who solemnly and sincerely affirm and declare, I will, when required, advise the Governor-General to the best of my judgment. And the WA government is winding back its workplace vaccination policy from next Friday. Only those working in healthcare, aged care and residential disability settings will be required to be triple vaccinated. While quarantine requirements for unvaccinated Aussies and permanent residents have been scrapped, from today they no longer have to isolate for seven days when they enter WA. Searching great value, style, choice. Put Suzuki in your search and rediscover the journey. See Suzuki QLD for details. In sport legend rugby league caller Ray Warren has called time on a spectacular career from the commentary box. The 78-year-old announced his retirement today, one week before the first State of Origin game. The Broncos are breathing a sigh of relief. Payne Haas will remain in Brisbane, backflipping on his request for an immediate release. The star prop has still parked talks on an extension until season's end. And Manly has named a new CEO from a great house in South Wales. Degrees and partly cloudy this afternoon in Toowoomba. It'll drop down to four overnight, mostly sunny and 15 tomorrow, a late shower or two on Friday. Our listener app is the home of local news. Download to listen now.